Hello everyone, let's start today's lesson. We are going to learn about plant steroids. In this lesson, you will learn what is steroid, the nomenclature of steroid, the structure of steroid, the uses and advantages of steroid. Let's get started. What is steroid? Steroid is modified triterpenoids containing the tetracycline ring system of lanosterol but lacking the 3 metal group at C4 and C14. Steroids or steroid alcohols are a subgroup of steroids and an important class of organic molecules. Plants produce numerous steroids and sterols, some of which are recognized as hormones in animals. Plant steroids constitute a diverse group of natural products. Biosynthetically, they are derived from s squalene 2 3 epoxy by acetate mevalonate pathway. This figure shows mevalonate pathway for synthesis of steroid through squanoline. Steroid nomenclature usually have unsaturation in or in and the highest priority functional group added as suffixes to the root name. Other groups are added as prefix. Stereochemistry of substituents is represented by alpha on the lower face or beta on the upper face. Brain fusions may be designed by using alpha or beta for appropriate bridgehead hydrogen. This figure shows stride numbering. The term NOR is affixed to indicate loss of a carbon atom. An example, 7 no steroid which is lack of carbon at number 7. Basically, their structure mainly derived from the structure of cholesterol with some modifications at a certain position. Hmm, modifications? But where? Firstly, by having extra 1 carbon or 2 carbon substituents at carbon at number 24, Example 1, Campestrol. From the figure, we can see that Campestrol have a metal group at carbon number 24. Second modification is additional unsaturations double bond at carbon number 22. An example, Cytostrol. Plant that contains straw such as corn oil, cotton seed, olive oil, palm oil, rape seed, safflower, soybean, sunflower, and tomato. The table shows straw composition in some seeds oil of commercial importance. Straw can be used for treating gas toil boosting the immune system, treating the common cold and flu, treating asthma, relieving menopause symptoms, helping with hair loss or baldness, and cholesterol control. That's all for today's lesson. Thanks for watching.